Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hedron here. Now I am here today with a hair tutorial. I only have a few up. I have curly straight hair tutorial, my Brazilian blowout, and then my curly wash and go hair tutorial. And now I'm here today with a, this is actually gonna be like a first impression video. Um, I'm always searching for voluminous hair. Um, my natural hair is very, actually very voluminous, but right now it has a Brazilian blowout in it and it takes away a lot of that volume and uh, my hair is also a little bit longer right now so it weighs down a lot because my actual hair strands are very thick but um, I don't have like okay so there's like there's thick hair where you have like in lots of individual strands and thick hair where the individual strand itself is very thick I have that I probably just have like the regular amount of hair but I have like thick strands of hair so there's that <laughs> but my hair right now goes all the way down to my chin um, the back is a little bit shorter because it goes longer to shorter in the back the back is probably about six or six uh, maybe actually maybe it's like five or six inches probably like two inches shorter the front is probably like around eight inches the back is probably about this five and a half six and um, I'm always searching for volumizing hair products and I have um, like really sensitive eye allergies. I'm like allergic to like almost every hair product that I've used. There's very few that I have not been allergic to and I um, always use them incessantly but I'm always trying to try out new things. Um, if you guys are familiar with um, a YouTuber, his name is Kyle Creer. His hair is amazing. He's also a hairstylist and he's just an overall like amazing person. And he had a favorite video where he showed a bunch of hair products um, on his channel. And I actually bought um, one of them already, but this is the second one that I wanted to try out because he said it's like awesome for like making your hair feel thicker, more voluminous. And you know, the higher the hair, the closer to God. So I am a firm believer in that. And so I have here, this is the R and Co. Volu um, what is it? Dallas Thickening Spray. So I have ju I just got this the other day, I have not yet used it. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be using it with you guys. So we're going to be um, seeing how it is together. Um, so for this, you're supposed to apply it into wet hair and then you blow dry section by section and style as usual. Um, so in conjunction with this, I'm al I always use heat protectant because I do use a lot of heat in my hair and I always want to keep it as healthy as possible. My favorite, favorite, favorite is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best ones, for me at least. Um, I'm actually allergic to a lot of them, like the heat protectant spray. So this one is really good. And then I'm just going to be using my hair dryer. This is a T3 hair dryer. And since you can use it with hot tools as well, I'm going to be using um, a bio-ionic flat iron. This is my favorite flat iron. I'm also going to be doing a um, flat ironing hair tutorial very soon with this. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also be linking um, up here in this corner, in the little eye, um, there's going to be uh, some of my other past hair tutorial videos. And I'll try to link or I'll try to post up some photos of what my hair naturally looks like without any Brazilian blowout in it. This um, I did about a month ago and it doesn't take out all the curl in the wave but the way I do it, I try to get it as straight as possible like getting that long last, long lasting like straightness because my hair is usually so poofy and like unmanageable and this is it um, pretty much air dried, it's still a little damp and I'm going to be making it more damp with the keratin smooth heat protectant and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so here is my hair and that is in, like the wave that it has right now. It's not very voluminous though it does have some volume right at the top. And again, I'm going to be using the Tresemme heat protectant throughout my hair. Get in there nice and good. And excuse like this little 
left right here. I am trying to add this to the top part of my part and it is slow, slowly but surely getting there. So, okay, so that is done. I'm just gonna brush. I just have a Denman brush right here and I'm just gonna brush this through my hair so it just goes thin, nice and evenly. All right, and then now I'm going to take this, the R & Co Dallas Thickening Spray. Again, this is gonna be the first time I am using this product. I'm super excited. Um, let's hope this is amazing. Um, and let's try it. So it just says to spray it through your hair. I haven't used it yet, so it needs to pump. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I'm just suctioning like little parts of my hair so I can make sure to get it nicely through. And it says that you can get it through to the ends too, so I'm gonna get it through everywhere. I don't know, it doesn't actually say whether or not, um, like how much you can actually use of the spray, it just says to spray it through your hair. So I'm just gonna try and go for it and make sure that all my hair is evenly coated. I'm gonna use a Denman to just brush it through. I wanna spray a little bit more on the back, make sure get that. And getting it on my hand is a little tacky. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when like when once I dry my hair, I don't really like the feel of like stickiness. So hopefully that goes away in my hair once I dry it. And so let's get into it. I'm gonna be looking down over there because I have a mirror over there, but um, yeah. Hopefully you can see everything as it goes. As you can see, I'm just like sectioning my hair. I just use the brush. It's really good at gripping. That's why I like this combination bristle and then the, um, the regular, I don't know what they're called, brush, but it's like the boar bristle and then like the regular bristle and they work in conjunction, they're really good at gripping, so it's easy to do sections like this. And you always wanna dry up like in a upward motion like this, so that we can get the most volume in your hair. That actually is pretty good, look at that. But it just stays right up there, so let's try the rest. I just have one more section. really really good volume I actually am digging this product now my hair is pretty much dry throughout and look at that volume it's 
pretty amazing. It gives a really good natural shine as well. You guys, I... Okay, I'm gonna like let you guys know like after a few hours. It usually I can tell within the first hour whether or not I'm gonna be allergic to a hair product. So I'll let you guys know how this product holds up throughout the day. I'm not gonna put anything else in it. I just want to see how it's gonna be with just this. Uh, I'm not even gonna like try to do anything to these little wispies right here. I'm just gonna kind of leave them as is. And you guys, I'm like really liking this. I do want to flat iron it, though I feel like if I flat iron it, it's gonna make it a little bit flatter. But. Okay guys, this product is pretty amazing. I'm loving the volume. This is like some pretty good volume that you get just from using this one volumizing product. Um, then if you probably, like you could probably put in like a finishing product and that would like leave it in really nice. But I, for all intents and purposes, I just want to use just this one product. And then now I'm going to use my Bioionic Flat Iron. And try this out and see if it's going to affect the, um, the volume in the hair. Cause you guys, this is like pretty amazing. I'm gonna have to try this on my mom and see um, see how well it works on her. But I'm like really liking this product so far. My hair feels really bouncy, really light, really voluminous. It doesn't feel oily or tacky or anything. My hair is just like sticking up amazingly. Like look at that. It's pretty awesome. I am pretty obsessed with it and I love the shine that it gives you a really nice natural shine. I'm just gonna flat iron this front piece. I always have a problem right here because I do my Brazilian blow up and my hair dries really, or my hair grows really fast. So even though you're not really supposed to get a line of demarcation, I always get it in the front right here. And um, if like I start sweating or anything, any moisture, like my roots will start to curl if I don't um, seal it in with a flat iron. Usually the blow dryer and the brown brush are not enough for me. So I just go like this. And it's still looking awesome, so. Yeah, you guys, I'm really, really digging this product. It looks amazing, it feels amazing. And I love that it doesn't feel sticky. You guys don't even know how many kinds of products there are that make your hair feel so sticky and so gross. Trust me, I have tried very many of them. And, yeah, so I will check in with you guys after like maybe the first hour and then again at the very end of the day. And then we'll see how my hair looks. Let's see if it still has like this awesome volume. Like, I'm like literally dying for it. Like I kind of like, I'm really just liking like the messy, kind of like whatever like lived in look and this is totally doing it for me so I am completely obsessed again 
Uh, my hair has a Brazilian blowout inside it already. Um, and I, that is a contributing factor to, factor to the shine because the Brazilian blowout does add a lot of shine in your hair. But I'm really liking how much shine that this product still gives it. It doesn't make it like um, more matte or anything. Yeah, it says it, it gives great body and shine. So I guess this is awesome. Um, I read on the website that you can, I will link all this stuff down below too for the Art Co. Thickening Spray. Um, it is sold out on their website. I actually purchased this through Amazon because I couldn't find it on their website. It was sold out. So I'll have a link down there below as well for that. Um, they did have like a quick little video for using this, but honestly it wasn't the most informative and it didn't really show a lot about what you were supposed to do with the product. But it does say on the website, it doesn't say on the packaging that you can use it kind of like as a setting spray. So I don't know, maybe I'll... I'm just loving how it feels right now, but I'm just gonna try and use a little bit as like a setting spray and then see how it fares. I really wanna get these wispies up, but I don't know what these are gonna do. them in oh my gosh you guys they held up my little wispies and you can't even like usually I have to put hairspray on one of these combs on the rat tail and then like brush it in but with just some of this spray and then some hair drying action look at that like even if I like mess it up like it doesn't really like look at that it's awesome <gasps> You guys, this is like my new favorite product. Kyla Creeker, you are amazing for recommending this. The other product that I tried was, um, it was also kind of like a thickening spray, but it was almost like a dry shampoo style thickening spray. And this Dallas thickening spray, I just keep saying thickening spray over, over, over and over, is definitely super amazing. I am so, let me see if I can. There you go. Yeah, this thickening spray is so amazing. <sighs> you guys, I am living life right now. Usually I have to use like a couple products to get my hair this big. And it's so like soft and movable. Oh, you guys, I am like... Okay, so my first impressions on this product are that this is probably one of the best thickening, volumizing sprays I have ever used. Um, and I have used many, many, many different things. Salt sprays, thickening sprays, um, volumizing, mousses, gels, uh, every kind of concoction I have tried. And don't get me wrong, a lot of them do work, but like almost every single one of them leaves your hair feeling kind of sticky and kind of, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just like really dramatic about like other products, but other products just make my hair feel sticky and I hate that feeling because I'm like someone that loves touching my hair and going like this like over and over and over and over and this, the, I like honestly don't feel anything in my hands at all. My hands feel like not sticky, my hair is really volumized and I'm currently loving life right now so let me know what you guys think down below um, if you guys want to see more hair tutorials definitely let me know I have a couple more coming up in the pipeline and I'm gonna definitely have a flat iron tutorial and more maybe um, like quiff style and styling tips and all that for you guys but I will actually leave you for right now and I will be back later with a little update for how my allergies are doing because that is something that's very important to me and it might be to some of you guys because that is a 
determining factor for me for hair products because for years and years and years, years and years, all the hair products that I have been using have been giving me really bad eye allergies and I didn't know why. And then like, um, for a while I just stopped using like hair products in my hair and my eyes just like felt a million times better and then I figured it out and then I just slowly started introducing certain things and found out what worked for me and I've been like I'm still on the search for more and more products and you know what like this is a really good one and I love that like you can like play around with it and like just like poof it up and all that and this is probably gonna work really really well if you um, add in like a molding clay or a paste or something but I am not really into those things honestly I would probably just keep it like this because I'm like unless I was going to like some sort of event or something where like I want my hair to like stay and not move at all and just like I would use those other things but for like an everyday basis kind of look this is probably the most I'm going to do and I feel like I found like my holy grail hair product so I'm super excited I'll be right back with an update for how my hair has turned out all right you guys it is a little bit later about um god that's too close all right guys it is about an hour later and my hair is still looking pretty voluminous i must say um i'm still really really digging loving this product um it does what exactly what it says it does <laughs> give you that Dallas big hair. So I'm really liking it. Um, I can't keep touching it. Quick little hair update. My hair is still looking pretty fabulous. Uh, yeah, so update hair still looking good. I love that I can like just like play around with it and just like move it around and do whatever I want to it and like it still like stays nice and voluminous and it like stays in place pretty well I mean I'm um, not one of those people that like keeps my hair like looking one way the whole day I'm always like just like throwing it around and just like doing whatever and I'm really I'm really digging the hair I don't know but um, I feel like I'm just touching it too much because the more I touch it like the more flat the hair gets but like I mean all you gotta do is just like fluff it up and it just goes back to like it's like super volume look so, I'm really enjoying this product, um, and I think you guys will too, so definitely I suggest trying it out, and you guys are going to love it. Yes, I know, I'm still obsessing over this, and I'm just like running the brush through it to see like how it is, and like it's still... <laughs> the camera's like zoomed out like intensely. Like, zoom, in. zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, yeah, so check that out. Ugh. I'm always brushing my hair too. I always feel like I love these Denman brushes because it's like they give you like a hair massage and like awesome. So I love this product. This is um, this is actually my new favorite um, hair thickening, volumizing lotion or hair spray that I've ever used. Um, like in the past, I've used what's it called? I've used so many. Um, my my other one that I really really like is the. Brazilian blowout, um, the, it's like a talc, the volumizing powder, and that one works really well, but even that one, it kind of leaves like a sticky residue in your hair, and I am not a fan, but this, like, I just can't stop touching it, 
and it's awesome and I'm completely, completely loving it. So I highly, highly, highly recommend, I feel like this is just like a hair PSA for um, this product, but I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. You guys have to try it out. Um, it's sold out on the website, but they have it on Amazon. So I'll link that stuff in the description box below, and then you guys can check it out if you like. I don't know what stores carry it, if any, maybe like certain salons do, but um, yeah. Oh, and I know a lot of you um, ladies out there are going to want to know how this is for your hair too, of course. So you know that I'm going to try this out on my mom's hair. I don't know if she'll let me film, um, <laughs> she'll let me film trying it in her hair. But um, I will definitely try it at least, and then we'll see how it turns out, and then um, maybe she'll let me show you how it looks on her. Um, she gets a little shy sometimes when like the attention's on her. <laughs> so, but I will definitely try it in her hair so I can let you guys know how it is. Ooh, mom, your hair looks really thick. Did you like that product? Yes. Wow, mom, your hair looks really good. Turn around. Ooh, looks nice and thick. Just because I didn't really see a lot of reviews online, um, especially with like men's hair, and I did see Kyle Krieger um, with this product in his favorites, and it's like so awesome. Like I'm like seriously obsessed with this product, and this is the second one that I, I actually the third product. <gasps> it's actually the third product that I used from that recommended video. I'll leave the link down below for his video where. Um, he recommended this hair product I used, the Burt's Bees um, Facial Towelettes. They are amazing and refreshing. They are so perfect in the Philippines and they're really, really good for when I go thrifting because sometimes like just like all the dust and stuff, especially when you're thrifting inside the um, Goodwill outlets, it just gets everywhere and like you just want to like hose yourself down and the towelettes do a perfect job for your face and then I just use like baby wipes and stuff on my hands and my arms. And that is awesome. And then I also used, um, it's another like thickening volumizing spray, but it's kind of like a dry shampoo combination. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I have like, I got the little bottle. Um, I really, really like it, but my eyes are a little sensitive to it. So I don't use it as often as I would, but my eyes actually aren't as irritated as other products would do to it. So they're pretty, it's pretty good too. And I like the way it makes my hair feel. Um, not too sticky, but still a little. You can still feel the residue. Um, but this, honestly, like you can't feel anything. I don't know if it's because I didn't use enough product. Um, I'm gonna try using more next time, but I'm pretty happy with this result. I think I could probably add a little bit more, honestly. Sometimes I'm, I, I'm a little, like I use products a little sparingly, because I'm always afraid of my hair, like, um, feeling sticky or the my eyes being allergic especially with new products. So now that I know that I'm not allergic to this, I'm definitely gonna try a little bit more in my hair and see if I get um, a different result. But right now, I'm loving it. Definitely recommend it. You guys gotta get it. Like, I can't stop touching it. It's just like, incessant. But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy this video. Oh, and also, yeah, my allergies are like, A-OK. -okay. Like, this stuff is seriously so amazing. So if you guys are looking for a really good Thickening, volumizing um, type of spray. R and Co is the right one for you. Now this is a, a little expensive. It's twenty eight dollars, so a little bit does go a long way. I think, in my opinion, at least for my hair, I'll probably if I'll probably be using this for like over a year, as with like almost all my hair products. Like if I buy like a bottle or a jar or something, it usually lasts me at least a year. Um, but that's just with my hair, hair type, texture, length, the amount of hair I have. I'm sure if you have more hair or less hair, you'd be using less or more. Um, but, yeah, I really like it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know some feedback down below in the comments. Um, I'll have links again. I'll put them in the description box and up here in the little eye. Just click on there and I'll have all my other hair videos for you guys. If you guys have any other um, ideas for hair tutorials, well, let me know. I have a bunch coming up that I want to do, so stay tuned for that. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to see those other hair videos. And yeah, 
A+, plus. love it. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Now it's down at 600. It's still too expensive. They still have those really cute Prada boots that was missing the R. They still have these Louboutins, which I'm pretty sure are real. And then they have these leopard print Louboutins right there, but I'm pretty sure they're fake. Just by looking at them from inside here. Oh, and they still have that scarf. I forgot 